What's up guys welcome back to yet another video of custom room as we are aware that OnePlus 5 and 5T is now considered as end of life devices and we cannot leave our friends who are using OnePlus 5 and 5T in 2022 without any kind of new updates. So in this video we will quickly take a look at another great room based on Android 12 for OnePlus 5 and 5T. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 5 which is currently running on the latest build of Yap custom room based on android 12 let me show you the software information so here you can see android version is android 12 which comes with 5th feb 2022 security patch so it's a quite stable room to be used as daily driver i personally did not notice any kind of issues yet and before moving further let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and still guys we have 80 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now first talking about the benchmark results so using Geekbench application, we have got 377 in single core and 1679 in multi core. Few days back, we did a custom room video of OnePlus 5 and 5T in which we covered Lineage OS. Compared to Lineage OS, scores are a bit high on this custom room. With Android 2 benchmark application, device have scored 3,28,223. We also did CPU throttling test in which max CPU throttled up to 79% and average gifts were also quite high. You won't find much of customization options on this room. But yes, it's a quite stable room to be used as daily driver. Default dialer doesn't have any kind of options to record the calls. Alert slider does its job pretty well. On the previous builds of Android 12, users had this issue of data connectivity issues with the second SIM card. But that has been fixed on this latest update. And now it's almost fixed on all the custom rooms. Both the bands of Wi-Fi works fine along with the Bluetooth services. Fingerprint unlock is pretty fast and huge thanks to physical fingerprint scanner present on OnePlus 5. Though nowadays we don't get much of issues with the fingerprint unlock if it is also present on the screen. You'll obviously miss the feature of face unlock which is currently not present on this build. Hopefully it might get added in the upcoming builds because now rooms like Pixel Experience have face unlock feature. On this room, by default, we have Quickstep Launcher pre-installed, which doesn't give you much of options to customize the launcher itself. Things like double tap on the empty space to sleep works fine, along with double tap to sleep on the status bar. No issues with the material you theming part. And if you guys want to customize the theming part on this custom room, then you'll find an option of Monet Engine, from where you can use your custom colors to use any particular theme on the device. We get the basic AOSP camera pre-installed, but anytime you guys can try out Google camera ports for OnePlus 5 and 5T. Device also passes through the safety net check so you won't have any kind of issues using payment services or payment applications. And now talking about some of the customization options. So here on this room also we get the OnePlus settings, stock settings I mean to say in the settings panel where you can trigger features like DC dimming, high brightness mode and guys avoid using high brightness mode for a longer time this might cause screen burn. My OnePlus 5 screen is already burnt and there are no possible ways to fix the screen burns until you replace the screen. Then you have this FPS overlay once you enable this towards the left hand side you'll get the FPS count on the screen. Under panels, we have lot many options like sRGB mode, DCI-P3, night mode, adaptive mode and OnePlus mode where we also have the ability to make changes in the color strength manually. You can customize the alert slider as per your requirements and at last we also have the option to make changes between the vibrator strength. And there are few additional customization options present on this custom room which can also be found in the settings panel. Here you have an option called YASP which says yet another settings page. So here we have bit of customization options related to status bar, for example, double tap to sleep. Then we can also move around the clock. For battery style, we have only three options, which is portrait, circle and text. You can anytime disable or enable the brightness slider from the quick setting panel. And also enable battery estimates. So whenever you swipe down the quick setting panel towards the right top corner, you'll get the estimated time of your phone's battery. For gestures, we have all the same stuff like you can long press and hold the power key to trigger assistant or open camera application. Then you also have one handed mode and that works fine. And the good thing is also we have edge lightning feature on OnePlus 5 on this custom room. So whenever you have any kind of notifications, the edge lightning would get triggered. 
so guys this was a quick look no doubt you can use this room as a daily driver on your oneplus 5 and 5t there are no issues to be found yet performance wise battery backup is also decent enough so overall a good custom room to be used as daily driver for devices like oneplus 5 or 5t and if you want to install this custom room then the process is quite simple just download the room file and flash it using twrp recovery or any custom recovery present on your device once done just format data and boot into system so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day